What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I have been gone for a while. I was on vacation and also I'm about to get my car back so I want to start getting back into the swing of things. So why not start with this video? I had seen on Instagram just through browsing and stuff, obviously because I follow detailing pages and whatnot, something popped up from Sky Car Care and I do follow them and it was this, this item here. They're the Detailing Outlaws. It's called the Buckanizer, I believe. Yes, the Buckanizer. Now, this product is actually uh, touted to be made in Germany. And what we're going to do today, we're not necessarily going to do like a demo too much. I'm going to show you this product, show you what I had, the box. Um, I'm going to attach it to both. I'm going to explain why I got one red, one black, but not one blue, which is my rinse bucket. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with the um, tools on it. And I'll probably demonstrate it on the wheel of my wife's truck, because I'm planning on doing a wash on that anyway, but I don't want to film that. So let's just jump into it. This is the Buckanizer, and here's the box. You know, very fancy right here, detailing outlaws. Um, you know, not much to talk about here. So as you can see, very fancy. It says, Buckanizer was designed to fit perfectly in your bucket for easy storage with both the grit guard and washboard still in place. It says, oh see it's written in German too. It says it allows you to easily select the right tool at the right time. No more lost brushes or lack of space. No need more space, attach a second buckinizer. So technically you could put two of these on. So you could have one there, one there on one bucket. That's pretty sweet, didn't think of that. Won't need to. It's got drainage holes, which I'll show you in a second. Um, it also says it attaches to either a five gallon or three and a half gallon buckets easily fits nearly all five gallon with or without the gamma seal lid installed now that's pretty important so I'm gonna throw this box aside and we're gonna discuss why that's important a lot of people don't have the gamma seal but a lot of people do have the gamma seal I just happen to have the gamma seal you're like well what's a gamma seal this is a gamma seal this is my cracked gamma seal actually see this it broke on me so I need another one. Actually, this is kind of a defect in the Gamma Seal, but we'll discuss that on another video. But this right here, as you can see, it has a um, like a rubbery type seal, something here. So this will keep it watertight in here, creates a nice lock. Now this basically just goes on and it twists down. So say you wanted to go to uh, a wash at your local um, self-service or say you want to transport a bucket of water to a car show and do a rinseless wash there I've seen people do that you can do that that's why this is awesome but this video is not about that so this comes off very easily I love this um, they even have ones with a seat installed on top but um, I'm not sitting on my buckets so oh well now what I'm going to show you is this is my wash bucket this is my wheel bucket these are the two buckets I decided to get this for. Now, I do have a rinse bucket right here. The reason I didn't get that on my rinse bucket is pretty simple. What I feel like this is useful for, especially for you know these two buckets in particular, is when this is attached, you now have an extra spot for you to put a, uh, a mitt. Uh, say I'm you know, using the mitt and I just got done real quick but I don't want to throw it in my rinse bucket yet and, and rinse it. I just want to quick grab the second mitt to go and attack the job. I can lay this in here for a second. Just a second. Not anything crazy but I know I'm not cross contaminating anything. I don't want to just throw it in the bucket. If I want I can have uh, a second little uh, wash mitt or something something extra that I just want to grab real quick for a tight spot or if I want to wash my uh, exhaust tips and I want to put that in there. There's a million places for it. Extra storage when you're detailing is always awesome. So real quick like I said this bucket made in Germany. This has drainage holes on the bottom so when you have something in there obviously it's going to be wet you're working with water you're cleaning a car you're doing your thing it's going to drip what's going to happen when it drips instead of it pulling up in here it's coming out the bottom awesome so this is a simple design this moves here so this hooks in underneath and like they said it works on a regular bucket or with a gamma seal so technically what you're going to do is you're just going to you know put it on and, I mean, it literally couldn't have installed any flipping easier than that. Like, just really couldn't. And it moves. And if I wanted to, I can slide it all the way around the lip of the bucket. 
It doesn't interfere with the handle. Now, obviously, a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, you're, well, if, if you're like me, you're going to be like, damn it. If I want the handle up now, it's blocking part of the logo. Or maybe you're not nuts like me. But that's not an issue. It's nice and sturdy, and it feels good. I don't foresee any issues, but like I said, you know, we need to test this. Uh, I don't think cleaning one or two wheels on a vehicle is going to be testing enough, but this is one of those videos where it's like an introduction, a brief show of uh, the concept of it, and that's it. Uh, quick removal, lifts right up, comes off, not damaged. It's made of some high quality plastic, it's very thick. I like it. It's pretty much the same material as the um, as the Gamma Seal. Now you're going to be like, oh, well that kind of makes sense. That's not the main reason I bought it for. This is the main reason I bought it. When I'm washing my wheels, this is the issue, okay? When I'm washing my wheels, this is my typical setup. And as you can see, it's a clusterfuck. That's, that's the best way I could describe this. There's a lot of little things going on and a lot of big things going on. The main reason this is going to be awesome is I'm going to show you right now. So let's just attach this. So we put this on there. So now we've got our buckinizer here. Okay. Now, what are some of the things that I keep in my wheel wash bucket? Okay. I've got this bad boy here. This is the Daytona Speedmaster. I got this one. Now, I've got this from Adams. I don't usually use this often, sometimes, possibly, potentially, but I like to keep it handy. So what's gonna go? That's gonna go in here. So now we got here, my wheel woolies. Every one of my wheel woolies is gonna go inside of there, along with my lug nut brushes and my uh, special little detail brushes. So all of these smaller things, my Tough Shine tire brush, this is the best brush for cleaning tires. All of these little things that you would normally have to dig inside at the bottom of this bucket to get, you're going to want to put this in there for. Okay? So this has seen better days, but this is a Swiss Vax. This is the uh, OG. See? Now, here's a good example. Look how small this wheel woolly is. So what I could do is have it in here. I'm not losing it in here. It's in here. Now, this is usually filled with some kind of um, car shampoo or soft wheel cleaner or something so that I do have some suds on this on top of the fact that I've already sprayed my wheel cleaner on the wheel. What do I want to keep inside of this bucket at all times? Here's another mitt that I use very rarely but I keep it there. So here's another thing. This is my mini one. My little uh, what is this? easy detail. It swivels and bends and you know gets into all those places that I need it to. So here's another one. Let me keep this in here, right? So what actually stays inside this bucket? This stays in the bucket. My Incredi brush, my favorite wheel cleaning brush, that stays in. Notice the trend, they're sticking up above. Here's my other brush. This I got from Chemical Guys. See how it's like real flat? And this actually, oddly enough, fits in between my brake calipers and my wheel on my Brembo's in the fronts. So this means I don't have to move the vehicle up. The only other two things I'll keep inside that bucket, this is my soft wheel brush. This is for like the face and things that I don't want to stick the mitt on for. And this. This is the Adams Tire Brush Cleaner. A little bit more stiff. I don't use it often. I haven't really used it. I still am in the testing phases of it. I doubt it's going to do anything even remotely to convince me to swap totally, but it's there. Now, here's where the setup is, right? So, you know what? Actually, on the fly, we're going to ditch this. That thing doesn't serve me any purpose. So, we're going to have this. We're going to leave this here on the side. We're going to have that just tucked there. And usually, I'll have a wash mitt. So, I'll keep that there. When I'm washing my wheels, this is how my setup is going to be from now on. Now, this is what I call organized as far as my brain goes. Because now, I'm going to have this filled with soap and water. And I've got my three handles. And I know when I'm reaching in, there's two. And they're going to be right here. There's just two. I'm not digging for a tiny little handle at the bottom of it. It's just, you know, I guess it's not a big deal, but it's just a convenient thing. It makes it more organized. It's a little bit of a speed factor here. So sometimes you just don't want to spend forever cleaning wheels. Simple, right? But this is how I like it. It's, it's definitely nice. And all of the things that I have in here are definitely the right height. I, I really like this layout so much more. So that's my setup. I'm going to fill this up with water real quick. I'm going to throw some soap in it, and I'm just going to clean this one wheel. We're going to show you that this bucket's pretty cool, 
and that's pretty much going to be the gist of it. Uh, do I recommend this bucket? We're going to just have to sit back and find out in about a second. Okay, so we're outside right now. As you can, as you can see, we've got our our setup firmly in action here. Here's uh, some nasty, nasty nastiness with our 235-45-19s on our on our Jeep Compass, which is also filthy. I'm going to take care of that. Now, I really like these wheels. I really do. I enjoy them. So this is the wheel. It's very dirty. It hasn't been cleaned since we came back from vacation, which is, you know, obviously lots and lots and lots of dirt. So what we're going to do is just attach this. This is our setup though. Okay, so we've got our, our, our miniatures is what I'm going to start calling them. Our little miniature section here. We've got our normal section. We've got our trusty wheel cleaner. The one I use the most just so happens to be Adam's wheel cleaner. And we're going to do Adam's tire and rubber cleaner on this filthy tire so we can demonstrate, you know, going through this process. So first thing we're going to do is take some aqua and we're going to spray this bad boy down a little bit. I usually make two passes as you can see here. See how it's browning just from spraying it on. We'll do a video on this another time. So now we go to the bucket, right? I'm gonna take my thing out. I'm gonna get it in some of the solution here. We're gonna go to town. What I'm gonna do, since this is appearing to be so dirty, I'm gonna give this a little rinse. Now we were on a beach, so I don't know that has anything to do with anything. I'm gonna take uh, just another little head of it just to make sure. You gotta be thorough, okay? So we're gonna re-dip our brush and we're gonna go at it. Still scuzzy, but this can't be a video just on this. You're gonna have to take my word for it that I'm gonna give this a couple more passes without showing it in a video. Moving on to our wheel cleaner. I like the Adams wheel cleaner. I like it because it seems like it does a good job. It reacts quickly. I'm not shy about spraying it liberally. So as you can see, it's already reacting on the rotors. I'm gonna let it just sit for maybe another minute. What I like to use the most is my Incredi brush. So we just have it in our solution. We come right to our wheel, okay? I like to start from the top to the bottom. So now that's done. What you want to do is always try to hose off the stuff. Yes, you have a bucket here. And yes, that's awesome. But you don't want to just keep contaminating the soap you already have in there. That's kind of sort of silly, right? So the other thing see how it's just easy I can go in here now if I want to I can grab something here so you know what let's just do it for the sake of it let's grab the mitt so I'm gonna grab the mitt I'm just gonna put it right back in what am I gonna grab I'm gonna go for this next dip that in there go inside these uh, bug nuts Give them a little bit of a clean arena. So once you rinse that off, right back in. What's the final thing I'm gonna grab for? Oh, I'm gonna go for this bad boy. I'm just gonna give this this face a uh, proper wipe down here. So this is officially a clean wheel. Now this isn't like a tutorial on how to clean a wheel. Obviously I could do that if you want, but this was just kind of like a proof of concept. It works. I was able to, well obviously I had to bumble and fumble around a little bit because I have a camera, but I feel like if I didn't have the camera I would be executing this process much more quickly than I normally would. I've got all the necessities here. Everything's good. Everything's within reach. I don't have to worry about this being on the bottom of the bucket. Now also when it comes to cleaning the bucket, at the end of every detail, you have to rinse the bucket out, right? You want to empty the bucket out, you want to deal with all this crap. My main problem was you're gonna have to dig in dirt water or you gotta dump this out and risk dropping all your brushes on the actual ground. That's not good. So basically all you have to do now is dig out what? This 
you know, the mitt. Obviously, I didn't use all of the stuff because, you know, I'm not doing a whole in-depth video like I just said. But, you know, you dig out all of the stuff that you want out of it. And then you just remove this. You can put this anywhere. It stands up. When you want it back on, you simply just lean it over. Now, this is lefty. It still goes on. It goes on like a charm. I am very impressed with this. I think that this is a true winner. I'm going to put a link in the description below to this product on Sky Car Care. Again, it's the Buckenizer. And yeah, it gets a thumbs up from me. So we got nice clean wheels here. And uh, on to the next three. Oh boy. So I just wrapped up cleaning the car, cleaning the wheels, cleaning everything. It is now pitch dark outside. And you're not going to see that because if my garage door was open, that rogue skunk that I always see running around might come in here and kill me. So we're going to do a final little summation here. Just to wrap it up briefly, do I like this product? Yes. Do I think it has a place in my uh, arsenal, in my process? Absolutely. Is it a little gimmicky? Yeah, it's a little gimmicky, but gimmicks that work, I don't know, you know? <laughs> I think it's awesome. There's a good chance I'm going to be removing this decal and this decal. It's cool. But like I said, it's just, I like the product. I could put my own sticker there. So I might end up doing that. Nothing against the product. Nothing against, uh, you know, the creators of it. But I, I'm not a cowboy. I'm from New Jersey. So, you know, that's not me. All the stuff that I need to get to that's on the larger variety is in here. Like I said, everything's here. It worked flawlessly. As I mentioned, if I didn't have to constantly, you know, worry about camera positions, angles, and, and teach you uh, about this product through moving things back and forth. I feel like it just would have went way more smoothly. So props to this company here for developing this product. Props to Sky Car Care for selling this product. As I said, the link will be in the description below. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you're new to the channel, please do me a big favor. Consider subscribing. I do plan on doing other detail-related videos. Again, as I said in other videos, I'm not Obsessed Garage, Pan the Organizer, and any of those people. They have a whole big process and you know they're just awesome this is just me being me unfiltered me and i like this product so if you're into this kind of stuff if not whatever i don't know just leave it a like that would be pretty cool so uh keep on rocking with me i love you all thank you so much and i'll see you on the next one